going on everybody, welcome back to Simulation for the Nation and welcome back along to the West Coast where today we are clearing up after yesterday, really. Uh, we're making a start just leading in our silage bales as I've got Carl out today in the Massey, he is uh, cutting some hay down. Uh, so he's fully busy and at the moment there's not quite a lot of other jobs to do so we are just, we're going to crack on and make sure we get everything cleared up nicely, uh, get these fields cleared so we can get some more fertiliser put down for a second cut. So there weren't many bales in this little paddock here, uh, we've got them all done there, they're roughly thrown onto the trailer more than anything, we're already taking them over to the other side of the yard there so I don't need to be too concerned. Uh, but what we've got there, 8, 9, 18, 19 bales in here which is nice, nice little number for a small paddock. Uh, but for now we're going to jump back into the tractor uh, and we're going to take these over to the other side of the yard into one of the fields we baled yesterday where we're going to stack these up out the way until we until we, that time comes when we can actually sell these on. Um, but for now we just need to make sure we get out of our gate without any problem. We're currently done with these. It's nice to see. And so like I say, we're just going to creep through the yard here. Watch out for the obstacles and we'll take them around to the other side. through here and we're actually just going to stack them, you can just see the telehandler through the bushes there, we're just going to stack them in the edge of this field here, and then we're also going to clear this field off as well. This. As you can see we may, we did make quite a few bales yesterday all in, so we have 8, what did I say, 19 on the trailer there. And then we've got another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, about another, another 15 or 20 in here, so we're, we're approaching the 50 bale mark and then as you can see through the hedge there, there's plenty more. So, lots of bales, lots of uh, stacking to do with them, uh, we're going to crack on with this. This isn't going to be a particularly long video today, just a kind of a nice little uh, light video just to continue with the progress really uh, so we're gonna get these stacked I'm gonna leave that trailer till the end but I'm just gonna do a quick time-lapse here of me and the scorpion as we chase around this field getting all of these bales in so I do hope you enjoy and we'll catch you at the end Thank you. 
Alrighty then, folks, we're getting near the end here. I uh, hope it hasn't been too painful, my stacking is... Try to keep my stacking as neat as possible. Uh, we're just going to do one long um, stack along the side here, really. Um, try not to use too much field space up. The old class, or the new class scorpion here does a great job. It really does. For the hydraulics and the flow control in this uh, this scorpion here, it has no problem in being able to easily maneuver these. Frankly, very heavy silage bales around, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we've only got these two left here. Then we've got the trailer to unload and the big field next door. But we probably won't do that here. We'll just call it a day once we get this done. Uh, perfect. And we'll, um, we're making progress. I've just spoken to Carl on the phone there. He has finished, knocked down one further field of hay over by River Rock Farm. He's going to jump into another big one over there. So we're making some good progress there, which is nice. Uh, it's important that we can kind of progress and knock as much of that down as possible at the moment. So it's good to see that he's pushing ahead. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably run the tether through there tomorrow, I would say. See how that's looking, and then based off of that, we might be able to get some more hay bale in the next few days. We've got some relatively good drying weather at the moment. We are due a few showers soon, but I'm not sure to the extent of or the severity of those showers. So we took a gamble in mowing the, side, the hay in the first place, but I I think we should be safe. I think we should be okay. All being well, we'll get this all bailed up and put under a shed pretty soon. With the hay, it'll be a lot easier to lead in because we have got the uh, the bale trailer um, over at the straw facility so we can use that to um, to bring in I think it carries about 10 bales at a time so that will clear fields very quickly and it's gonna all get stacked as it is around both River Rock Farm and if we have to a bit here as well um, as I mentioned in the previous video I am getting there there we go I am still on the lookout for a second-hand shed like a Dutch barn somewhere I want to put in I'm trying to find a good area in one of my fields I can put it in just because I am going to have a lot of straw and I want to get as much of it under wraps as possible. When we do make straw pellets we have to keep the moisture to a certain, um, below a certain percentage or otherwise the grade is very poor and I don't get as much money for them. So uh, I am trying to find a way where we could store these extra bales. But we'll, there's a few farmers nearby who have got some sheds they're not really utilising too much. I might see if I can rent a, a couple of barns off of those guys for a for the season as a makeshift option uh, because yeah like I say we do need to find some solution uh, however uh, with this we'll get this bale chucked onto here we're building a nice little pyramid of bales Perfect. now I believe that is the last of them from there we'll just bring in the boom and then we'll take these wraps off the straps off the trailer here so for now I am going to call it quits, this is just a nice little short video to uh, give you an insight to how we're clearing our bales. Uh, get these straps off, it would be nice to get this trailer empty as well, then we can put the John Deere back onto the tether and we'll get some work done. There is a lot over there to be cleared as well, but we're going to just keep plugging away here and see what we can do. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching as always. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, then please remember to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button, it really does mean a lot to help the progression of this channel. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. As always, you've been fantastic. Uh, you've been watching Simulation for the Nation. And we'll see you next time. So until then, stay safe, enjoy what you're doing. But most importantly, happy farming.